Well, that really excellent video is the new single from a band called Dead or Alive, and the very shy and retiring front person there is Pete Burns, and behold, he's with me in the studio. Pete, thanks for joining us. I know something's really bugging you at the moment, and that is the fact that the tabloids have all been comparing you unfavorably to people like Boy George and Marilyn. How is that really annoying you? Pass the sick bag. <laughs> uh, it, I don't think it really annoys me. I think that now that I'm getting more exposure and everything, you can see there isn't actually that much comparison. I mean, I'm at least eight stone thinner than uh, receding Georgie boy. Ooh, you awful person. But I don't want this to get into too much of a hairdressery bitching match, which the whole of that kind of scene does tend to, so no real, no real further comment. I only answer the questions people ask, you know. Well, the fact is, you and I both know, and most of your fans know, you were, you were dressing like this, in fact, even more outrageously, even up to about ten years ago. But the, the image you had then was very, very aggressive. Now, are you just a, a really nasty piece of work, or is it just an image? <laughs> I don't know, you'd have to ask somebody who's on the receiving end of my nasty side, but I've got a nice side as well, you know, I mean, I can fight for what I believe in, uh, I can be a nasty piece of work, I'm an old pro really, you know. <laughs> Pete is an old pro, and let that be the quote of the week. Well, what, what are the band trying to do? I mean, you obviously don't like to be lumped in with that sort of pop glam image, do you see yourself near the punk end of the market? Well, I feel more of an affinity with the punk movement than I do with the current pop movements. Well, last year's pop movements in the main, which was quite sickening really. Uh, last year we went on strike and refused to work in the music field really because of what was going on. Uh, I think things like the success of George have closed a lot of doors for people who look a bit peculiar because they expect every weirdo to be as harmless as a doormat like he is, you know. Uh, I, defy, I defy anybody to tell me that, you know, anybody that sets themselves apart visually is not like anybody else. It's the, it's the most obvious statement that you can make, you know, your visual side. And it's just a big front. I think it was all really phony last year. I think this, this year the, uh, the real true sidel come through, you know. Don't you think it's getting, getting more and more difficult to shock people, even with the way you look? Because everyone's so used to things that are shocking in inverted commas that, that it's hard to think of something new. I don't think the aim is really to shock people. It's, um, it's accompanying your visual statement with a suitable persona, really. It's not just an outright attempt to shock. I mean, you could shock somebody by dropping your pants, you know. That, that's still, that, I mean, somebody's bum still shocks people. The word cum still shocks people, like in the Frankie single. They're very easily shocked. Uh, I think just presenting a kind of sexy image does still shock people. If you're sexless and you cover yourself in a tent and a funny hat, you know, people don't mind, you're harmless, you're a pantomime. But if you represent, I mean, there's something a bit peculiar in every one of us, you know, and I think that when you reflect everybody's secret fantasy, they get a bit worried and try and hide you in the cupboard, really. What do you think, very briefly, is, is peculiar about you? Uh... Oh, I can't really answer that. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Left. No, you've lost the competition. Well, here's a clip of somebody who's very famous now, George, a couple of years ago when he was near sort of what to 